Hi guys, it's Thomas from Production Team. Today, since you guys really wanted me to do it, I'm gonna reveal the killer movie plot. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some better. That's better. So, what was gonna happen at the beginning? Um, I know from the beginning to the end. I don't know exactly what would have happened at the end, but I'm going to just reveal what was gonna happen. So. At the beginning, we would have saw like three kids at a basketball court. Well, two kids play basketball, and one of them, one of their friends, decides to go into the woods and basically like in like a forest that's nearby. And what would have happened is they would have heard him like screaming and choking at the same time. I don't know what their names were gonna be. I think one of them was actually named Jake. But basically, Jake and it was, um, ran into the forest only to see, uh, what was it called, their friend hanged, as you saw in, like, you know, the teaser trailer, actually, you know, in the, tr in the trailer, and basically what happened after that was that, well, they were basically explaining what they think happened, but, and what, and Jake, you no, know, I don't know who, I forgot who it was, but I, yeah, Jake was the one to get pulled away, but Jake um, was pulled away while his friend was thinking about it. So basically, he gets taken away, he screams out for help, and basically, his friend, Jake's friend, loses him. And then basically, Jake's friend tries to call the cops, basically, and pretty much while, when he's on the phone, he actually um, gets killed off screen. So all these. So, right off the bat, there's three kills. That's a lot of kills for, you know, the star. But, yeah. So, then after that, we saw Chef Mark go on the TV and basically be like, oh, I wonder what's on TV. Basically, we would have saw Mickey Mouse and, like, Charlie Brown. Uh, not this Mickey, a completely different Mickey Mouse. Like, basically talking about what, like, basically the Charlie Brown was like, that basically it was like a whole interview and right before the interview was over um the mickey mouse guy actually the mickey mouse like news reporter saw that um really came out and just killed them off screen so that also equals five kills so that's pretty insane and then yeah so basically mark would have basically been telling was going to tell junior and bowser about it but then we see, obviously, like we saw in the trailer, Bowser yelling at Junior. For I don't know what he, I forgot what he was doing. I, whatever it was, I think it was stupid. But I forgot. I don't know if he disrespected him. To do. And in the trailer, obviously, you saw Junior gets sent to the corner. So Junior's like, yeah. So then Junior falls into some sort of like I don't know depression. So then like yeah. Basically, Bow. Ma Mark, um, basically, I think, I don't know if Junior went to bed or something, but Mark was like, I think, I think you're, you're a little too harsh on him, I think you should maybe do something to make him feel better, and he's like, oh, maybe I'll do something where he has a play date with some, with one of his, no, not play date, a uh, sleepover with one of his friends, and he's like, maybe I'll even invite my, my friend's son, because they got along, like, when they were kids or something. And basically what would have happened after that was that Junior would have basically went to bed. He would have said goodnight to Bowser. And basically, like, yeah. And basically, I, I might do something either, like, it was a couple hours later. Um, Junior heard something, so he wakes up. And I don't know if he was going to, if he was going to go back. I think he was going to go back to sleep, and then he would hear something again. And Willie would be at the door, basically staring at him. And, and basically when Junior closes his eyes and looks again, he's gone. So, yeah. And then the next day came by, and that's when the play date was going on. So Bowser did apologize. He says, so I'm going to let you have a play date with a few friends. Like, what is it called? Dewey and Dopey. Um, I do know Dopey had a nickname, and I think it was Shane. And basically, I know they were like, yeah. So, and basically.
basically, like, they both, they, all three of them decide what they want to do for the sleepover. So then, basically, they, I think they would have done, like, play video games, play hide and seek, or basically anything. There would have been, like, I think, like, a montage. Yeah. And then we would have saw them having to go to bed. And basically, like, yeah. And now this is where the main plot of the movie pretty much begins. Um, because this was, like, like, yeah. This, um, so... Basically, Junior would have saw the Willie again, staring at them, and basically, while he's waking up, and that, like, last time, he goes away, but, it, but instead of doing that, we're gonna actually, like, almost, like, watch him, like, look out the door, and then just basically get out like that. And basically, Dewey's like, I'll go check, and basically, like, yeah. And obviously, like you saw in the trailer, Dewey did not make it. He was killed in the convention, which he got six kills, I think. Um, and yeah, so, Junior and Dopey would have been, pretty much would investigate to see what's going on, and basically, like, yeah, when they see Dewey dead, they decide to go check on Bowser, and he, they see that, I actually probably would have to make actually Bowser turns into a pilot. screams and he basically like this is something new i added but maybe like mark comes over to junior and dopey and basically like he's like oh my gosh what's going on and, and basically they're like we're thinking the same thing and all that and yeah so what would have happened is junior would have been wait oh, i lost my thing. so basically they would have investigated that the place and like yeah it wasn't supposed to be long before you guys asked. It was only supposed to be like 30 minutes, something. But yeah. And basically what else would have happened is... I don't know what else would have happened. I think they would have been looking around and they would have saw more like dead bodies. I think. But I'm not sure. And now this is where we go on to... And I think Mark would have been taken by Willie and basically would have been... I don't know if he would have been held hostage or he would have been, you know, killed... I think he was going to get killed, if I'm not mistaken. But then, Junior and Dopey have a standoff between them. Yeah. And basically, like... Dopey gets weaker, and basically... Junior basically had enough of everything, so he decides to go pretty much destroy him, and use um, William's... Not William's... Um, Willie's uh, knife, butter knife, and just stab him through it. And then, basically, that would equal the 8th kill. And then, yeah. Now, there are a few confusing parts about this. This is, like, somehow the characters were going to come back to life in. And if I ever decide, you know, to, re like, revive it, but with an entirely new story, like, with different characters and all that. Like, then, yeah. But what, like, but I don't know what, how everything would have happened. I think everyone would have been revived. I would have still count them all as kills, because we got to see them, you know, get stabbed and all that, and basically pass away. But I don't know what else would have happened. I do know that Dopey's dad would have picked them up, and Dewey would have went home with them. I guess, I'm not sure. But if I were to make this, like, you know, with completely new characters, I think I would do something where the kid... Like, the main character got taken away, or was, or, like, was, was at gunpoint, and basically, he got arrested, thinking that, like, the cops thinking that he actually killed everyone, but yeah, I don't know what else would have happened, because I don't know exactly what, like, yeah, and basically, in, like, yeah, and then at the end, there would have been a cliffhanger leading to the Thomas Holmes movie, which was going to get a completely new name, but I don't remember what the name was, so it would have basically had Mewtwo and Jeffrey the Giraffe basically talking, because this was going to lead up to like a trilogy, and then it would have, and then we would have gotten this Thomas, this Super Mario Brothers, because Sonic and Mewtwo show practically destroyed the planet there, but yeah, that's the plot for Will, um, not Willy Wonderland, um, the killer. You guys can use it if you want, that's why I'm revealing the plot. All I'm gonna say is that I recommend you don't really, like, yeah.
You guys can make this. You guys can make sequels to the story if you want. I personally don't think I was gonna make a sequel if I ever did make Killer, but that's just me. So yeah, I I'm.